Profit for Good with another online seated session for you. Today we'll focus on hip and shoulder mobility and strength through various exercises. All you need today is your good mood, your favorite music playing on as a background, a bottle of water to keep hydrated and the pair of dumbbells. I will be using cans of beans today. Feel free to pause the video if you need slightly longer breaks and exercise within your comfort zone. You shouldn't be feeling out of breath and never hold your breath throughout the exercise. Always have deep inhales and exhales. Now let's get active. Let's warm up. It's going to be nice, gentle and soft warm up so that we activate joints and major muscle groups. Sit correctly on the chair. You should be either in the middle or shuffle towards the edge of the chair. Have your knees at 90 degrees angle if possible. Tighten your core, uplift your chest and roll your shoulders up, back and down. Now let's start with neck rolls. We will go big clockwise circles and then big anti-clockwise circles. Let's start. Don't rush it, do it nice and slowly. We don't want anyone to get dizzy. But all we would like to achieve is to warm up this lovely neck muscle and joints there. If you do two complete circles, come back to the center and let's do one big circle to the left. If for any reason you have got limited mobility in your neck, we'll do the next exercise together. Okay, relax. Now let's look over the left shoulder. And now slowly come back to the middle and look over your right shoulder. And now let's nod, so chin close to the chest and chin up, pointing the ceiling. Now let's repeat, look over your left shoulder. Come back to the middle, look over your right shoulder, nod and point the chin up. Great. Now, let's put your fingers close to your shoulders and let's start rolling the shoulders so that you do nice back rolls. So it's backwards circles. And now let's slowly extend the movement and open so that you have got a nice alignment. Your elbows are no longer flexed and you do nice big shoulder rolls. Now let's flex again elbows and bring the range of movement closer to the body. Great. Change direction. Now we are rolling inwards. We will need all these range of movements for the main workout. And now extend and maintain the same movement inwards. That could press a little bit stress on your shoulder joints if you feel pain. Just close the range of movement and relax. Wonderful. Now what we'll do is stretch your arms forward and do the same big circles but inwards. So they're going towards the midline of your body. So your arms are stretching front of your chest and you are doing nice circles with both hands inwards. And now change direction. So we're doing nice big circles outwards and relax 
Well done. Now what we'll be doing is front raise with a knee raise. It looks like this. When you're ready, join me. It's not the main workout, so do it nicely and slowly. We're warming up hips, hip flexors, and we keep on working on shoulders and arms. There we go. Just a few more lifts. Great. Now, let's extend the range of movement. So we're gonna, we are going to go all the way up, overhead, and you will point your toes to the left and to the right. So it looks like this. So tap your toes, right and left. Try to extend as much as you can, those legs to the side and extend those arms overhead. If you cannot go overhead completely, just come as far as you're comfortable. We're warming up inner thighs, outer thighs. We're warming up the entire calf muscles and ankles, as well as back and arms. Great. And relax. And now let's try and do some heel taps like this. Or oh, those are calf raises. These are extremely important for your calf and ankle strength. So we are warming that part of the body now. Nice and gentle calf raises. And for those of you who would like to add some torso twists. So every time you have your heels up, try to twist to the opposite hip. So you twist to the left, twist to the right. There we go, nicely and gently. This way you're warming up your torso, your core and your back. And of course, cuffs and ankles. Great. And one last exercise. We'll twist slightly to the left and come back to the middle. We'll twist slightly to the right, come back to the middle and then we'll bend to the left, come to the middle and bend to the right and come to the middle. Let's try this combination for about three to five times. So take deep breath in and let's warm up even more our back by twisting to the left, twisting to the right, bending to the left and bending to the right. Again, twist to the left, twist to the right, bend to the left, bend right. One more time. Side bend, side bend. Great job. It's time for core and cardiovascular exercises. I've got four exercises for you that will build your core and cardiovascular endurance. The first exercise is called toe to heel rock. So it looks like this. You are rocking on your toes and on your heels. However, there is a slight catch. Every time you rock on your toes and you lift your heels, I'd like you to lean slightly forward. So that is also checking your balance. Then every time you rock on your heels, so you tap your heels down and your toes point up, I'd like you to lean back. When you lean back gently and slowly, you could tuck your tailbone under and try to tighten the core muscles. I would recommend you exhale 
every time you lean back inhale in the middle and then exhale when you lean forward you can have your hands to the side of the chair so you can keep better balance or for extra intensity you could have it somewhere near your chest like this so i'll demonstrate the first exercise toe to heel rock to work on your core and your balance so it looks like this i'm taking a deep breath in Second exercise, and that is going to be lift ra knee raise with a slight twist. If you have the flexibility, try to twist so that your elbow is in line with your opposite leg thigh, like this. So that is Russian twist, and it's building strength in your oblique muscles core and lower back or if you don't yet have the flexibility to twist you could just use your arms and do what we call arm taps knees like so this is going to build again strength in your hips and your core if you decided to go for the russian twist you're also training your oblique muscles next exercise that's exercise number three it's going to be sit to stand you could try and do it with a little support so you could have your hands gently pushing and assisting you in standing up and gently assisting you as you come back down to the seat or try and do it unattended so your arms should be by your side you could swing them so to allow a little assistance as you're raising up and lower those arms as you go back down every time you do the sit to stand think about having your knees strong and tight thighs so your knees should be forward or slightly outwards don't let them cave in and distribute the weight on your heels rather on your toes for better balance. So I will demonstrate. I'm taking a deep breath in. And I hinge from my hips as much as I can and last exercise it will be jogging so we'll be jogging obviously on the spot but this is your cardio exercise I'd like you to do your bestest in those 30 seconds and then you can relax so let's give it a try we will have a timer Every exercise lasts 30 seconds and you have got your 30 seconds break. Now let's begin. Get ready. Take a deep breath in and start with toe, heel, rock. So have your arms to the side of the chair. Rock on your toes as you lean forward. Take a deep breath in in the middle and as you lean back, you exhale and you lift your toes. So it's rock, toes and heels. We've got three seconds, three, two, one, and it's time for break. Great, I will pause it for a moment and the next exercise will be your side knee lift. So you lift your knee to the, to the middle and you try to twist your elbow. Here we go, it's coming. You've got a few more seconds of break to rehearse. So it looks like this. Or as I said, you could just do the taps. 
lift your knee as high as you can so that you train your quadriceps and you get much more intensity in your core. We'll begin in three, two, one. Take a deep breath in and let's lift and side twist. There we go. You can do it, follow your own tempo. Even if within these 30 seconds you do only three or four, but with the correct technique, that is fine. So you've got three, two, one, relax. 30 seconds break, a reminder, we will be doing sit to stand. So you would like to place flat feet on the floor, pointing towards forward, you would like your knees pointing forward and then as you inhale you are lifting and raising either using your hands or hands to the side. Let's begin. Three, two, one. Try to have nice control movement on the way down so you don't plop. You always hinge from your hips and you are in control of the movement. You don't let the gravity pull your weight down and plop. You've got three, two, one and 30 seconds break. Well done. Last one. And that's your cardio exercise. We are going to be jogging on the spot. So prepare. It looks like this. You do it as fast as you can. You could tighten your core. Lean slightly forward. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Or you could be upright. It's entirely up to you. This is the speed position for quicker movement. This is slightly more relaxed movement. You could march if you cannot jog. Just march, that's fine. You've got 10 seconds. Give me your bestest. Breathe. Three, two, one. Relax. Well done. We are going to do one more round in 30 seconds. I'm going to restart the timer. You now know what's coming. So you've got only four exercises. Each lasts for 30 seconds. We can do one more round. Rehydrate and get ready for the toe and heel rock. That's it. I will restart the timer. If you need extra break, please pause the video. If not, please get ready. We are getting into it right away. So that's toe, heel, rock. Take a deep breath in. And rock on your heels and on your toes. You lean forward, you lean back. You are tightening these abdominal muscles. You are developing that strength in your lower back and abdominal. And three, two, one, relax. You've got 30 seconds of break. Take deep breath in and out and prepare for the Russian twist or knee taps. So what we'll be doing is we will be twisting and trying to reach the elbow towards the opposite knee with a little twist. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Take a deep breath in and raise that knee as high as you could. Twist this back and allow your elbow to touch the knee or the thigh. You've got only 30 seconds to work this out. There we go, we can do it. Three, two, one, relax. 
30 seconds break. We are moving on to the last two exercises. So we are doing 30 seconds of sit to stand next. Take a nice comfortable position. Plant your feet on the floor flat. Try to think about distributing your weight mainly on your heels so you don't lose balance. And get ready. Take deep breath in. Three, two, one. And let's raise up and descend down very slowly by hinging from our hips and up and slowly down. For those of you who don't have the strength in their thighs, in the quadriceps, you could use a little help from your arms to push and a little help to descend down. That's fine. With the time, that strength will come back. And you've got three, two, one, relax. 30 seconds break. This is the last exercise and that is your jogging. So give me a fast jogging so that you feel slightly increase in your heart rate. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Breathe. We can do it. Only 15 seconds left. Let's go, guys. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Relax. Take a deep breath in and out. Well done. I hope you're ready to come back to the workout. It's time for strength training. I've got two circuits for you. The first one contains few exercises focusing specifically on shoulder mobility and strength. And the second circuit is for your hips and legs mobility and strength. So for the first exercise, you would like to grab your dumbbells. The first exercise is going to be external rotations. So we are going to be exercising on our rotator cuff muscles. It's important to keep the elasticity and flexibility in this area for our day-to-day -day routines. So you would like your elbows to be stuck to the side of your body, just like this. From here, you would like to open as much as you can without Sticking out your elbows, so try to keep them fixed and bring those dumbbells back in front of your belly and open and close. So the external rotations looks like this. The second exercise we'll be doing is half lateral raise. So what we would like to do is to start from the same position as the external rotation. So elbows are almost 90 degrees stuck to the side of the body, but then we'll be opening those elbows up so that they're parallel to the floor. And the same thing will happen with the dumbbells, they will go parallel to the floor. So let's repeat again. I'm only demonstrating. So that's half lateral raise. You would like to lift and raise those elbows so that they go parallel to the floor and bring them back to the side of your body. The third exercise will start from here. So your dumbbells and elbows are already parallel to the floor and you would like to lift them so that they point the ceiling. So it looks like this. You would like to always maintain 90 degrees in your elbows. That's extremely important exercise for your rotator cuff and shoulders. 
and the last exercise will be the chest press and will be starting position here and you will press forward and close press when I say close, I mean squeeze your shoulder blades and open your chest. I will remind you all this. Let's begin. So we'll start with the external rotation. So your elbows will be tucked to the side of your body. And from here, you will open your dumbbells outwards and close so that the dumbbells come back to the midline. I will hit the timer. We've got 30 seconds. Do as many as you can with the correct technique. Just prepare and let's start. External rotations. Keep breathing rhythmically in and out. Try to extend the range of motion as much as you can. You will feel that movement coming from the rotator cuff. If you keep your elbows fixed, you've got three, two, one, and relax. Well done. You've got 30 seconds break to reposition. So you would like to have the elbows stick to the side of your body 90 degrees but will be opening in this manner so your elbows will be sticking up as you lift your dumbbells and they go parallel to the floor and close back down to the side of your body so it's like chicken wings now let's begin in three two one we are increasing our shoulder mobility. We are increasing the range of movement. Try to go to about shoulder level and down. Shoulder level and down. Always relax your neck. The neck shouldn't be tensed like this. You should have relaxed neck and allow your shoulders to do the main job. Three, two, one relax great job next exercise and that is going to be your elbows rotating at 90 degrees so it looks like this i'm only demonstrating during your break so you remember it looks like this sideways look there we go three two one Dumbbells parallel to the floor are raised up so that they face the ceiling. That's it. Try to maintain the 90 degrees in your elbows. It's a little bit awkward movement, but it's extremely important for your shoulder mobility. Three, two, one. Well done. Relax. Give a little shake if some tension has been built and get ready for one more exercise and that is going to be the chest press. With this, the circuit will finish. So we would like to have the dumbbells and elbows parallel to the floor. From here, you would like to press the dumbbells to almost full extension of your elbow and bring those dumbbells back. Let's begin. Three, two, one. I'd like to exhale on the way forward and inhale on the way back. So every time I open the chest by squeezing the shoulder blades, I'd like to take a deep breath in. Three, two, one, relax. Great job. We are moving on to circuit number two, which is building more extra mobility, extra range of movement and strength in hips and legs. 
So the exercises are quite simple and yet today we will be doing the so-called repeaters. So instead of alternating, for instance, knee raises, we'll be doing knee raise with the same leg for 30 seconds. That is building extra strength and extra mobility in that specific leg. Of course, then we'll move on and do exactly the same three exercises for our left Side. So the first exercise is knee raise, which will be 30 seconds solely done with the right knee. I'll just demonstrate so it looks like this. Just a gentle reminder, you should always have your core tight and your uplifted chest. The second exercise will also last 30 seconds and again it will be repeaters. So it's going to be leg straight forward that is leg raise straight forward to full knee extension I'll show you from here it looks like this if you cannot achieve the same height you could do it slightly lower level, that is absolutely fine. Just try to extend the knee. Then the third exercise we've done before and it's extremely beneficial for your hips and hip flexor and that's your hip opening, hip abducting and adducting. So we'll be either gliding the toes or the foot on the floor or you could lift in the air, which is the bit higher intensity one. And again, because it's a repeater, we'll be doing the same exercise only for the right side for 30 seconds. I will hit the timer now and we will begin with knee raise right side. Take a deep breath in and let's begin. We're raising the right knee only. Do as many or as few as you like, but try to stick just to the right side. We can do it. We only have 10 seconds left. Try to squeeze a few more. You can do it. I know you're feeling tension in your quadriceps. Three, two, one. Relax. Well done. 30 seconds break, we will be moving on to straight leg forward raise. So this is how it looks. Or from this angle, always keep your core tight, your chest is up and your back is straight. Let's begin, three, two, one. 30 seconds for right leg raise. Try to have your knee completely straight. So you flex and you straighten your knee. I know again, it can be a little bit too much. Do a little bit less if you have to, but stick to it. Three, two, one one relax give a little shake you've done very well your quadriceps is building extra strength you are exercising your knees and hips let's get ready for the last exercise for the right side so hip and leg and that is the hip opening you can glide or you can raise and lift Three, two, one. Always breathe rhythmically. You can glide or you could raise. You could go to full opening or you could go to slightly less angle. That all depends on your flexibility and strength in your hips and glutes. It will build with the time. Give it some time. Three, two, one, relax, well done, give a shake and let's get ready to do exactly the same with our leg 
side, left leg side. I'm going to restart the timer. You have a, a, a split second, probably. Just kidding, 30 seconds to rehydrate and to prepare so that we exercise the left side. I hope you're ready. I'm gonna hit the timer. So we will start with left knee raise repeaters for 30 seconds. Let's do it. Take a deep breath in and let's start. So you're raising your left knee up. There we go, we can do it. It can be a little bit demanding on our quadriceps and maybe on your lower back. You are allowed always to have a slight movement in your tailbone, that's fine. As long as you keep your core muscles tight. Three, two, one. Well done. One exercise completed, two more to go. So the second one was straight leg forward repeater. It looks like this. Just get ready, get into a position, tighten the core, lift the chest and prepare. In five seconds we will begin. Five, four, three, two, one. Take a deep breath in and extend that knee, raise that leg. It's a repeater, again, that is building strength in your quadriceps. It's increasing your mobility in your knee joint. Breathe. Allow your tailbone to tuck if you have to. Three, two, one. Relax, give a shake. I know you're building slight tension now in your quadriceps, but that means strength. Get ready, last exercise, and that is hip opening or hip abducting, adducting, working on your hip mobility and hip strength. We are going to do repeaters again, so prepare for 30 seconds, do as many or as few as you would like. Let's begin. Three, two, one. Either glide that leg to the floor and open your hip nicely as far as you can. Try to stay fixed, your core is fixed and your core is braced or lift. Have your Grab up the chair if you need for extra balance. And three, two, one. Well done. We've done it. We'll complete the session with a short, efficient, gentle stretching routine. Take a deep breath in and out. And from here, interlace your fingers and extend forward and up those arms and to the side and to the other side. Come back to the middle, relax. Let's do it again. Take a deep breath in, extend arms forward as your fingers are interlaced. Look up and extend your arms overhead. Bend to the side. And bend to the other. And release. Now I'd like you to raise one hand overhead. The other one is to the side. And now bend elbows behind your back. Try to touch the fingers. And relax. 
change hands. One is overhand, uh, overhead, the other one is to the side. Bend elbows and try to touch fingers behind back. You're extending the range of movement of shoulders and stretching triceps. And relax. Do big shoulder rolls back. Just few and relax. Now I'd like you to twist to the left and hold this position and look over your left shoulder. And come back to the middle. Take a deep breath in and twist to the right. Look over your right shoulder. Allow your spine to twist, to stretch. We are stretching core and spine and neck. And come back to the middle. Now lean forward as far as you could and relax your neck. Allow your spine to stretch as well and try to leave your, your fingers to loosen up and leave your fingers to touch your toes if possible. If not, keep your fingers on your knees and come back up slowly and gently. Now we will work on stretching quadriceps, calves and hamstrings. I'd like you to extend your right leg forward, point your toes to the ceiling and you have got your left palm on your left knee for balance and now with your right arm, you're trying to touch the right toe, leg toes. When you do this, you are leaning forward slightly to the side. You are stretching your hamstrings and your cuffs. And slightly your back as well. Now let's do the opposite. Extend your left leg forward. Try to touch toes. Hold the position for a couple of seconds. And come back up. Now try to hold your right knee and bring it as close as possible to your chest to stretch these glutes. And release gently. Let's do the same with the other leg. And release gently and one last thing try to take your foot as close as possible to your glutes so you stretch your quadriceps and relax and let's do the same Sli go slightly diagonally try to take your other foot as close as possible to your glutes and stretch your quadricep. And release gently. Great job everyone. You have completed the session. Give yourself a big round of applause. You deserve it. I truly hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, Please like this session, share with a friend, leave your comment. It's always a pleasure to, leave your, to read your comments and feedback. You can do this either on our website, which is fitforgood.com, or you could subscribe on the YouTube channel and comment the session there. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and keep exercising.